So hello again, friends. Um, since my last recording, I have very much been uh, engaged with uh, uh, getting myself back into a place where I'm comfortable with my daily meditations. And I have had a number of comments uh, from people um, across the globe, actually, about this whole area of mental health when it comes to the Gateway experience. And I really think this is probably the area that interests me the most um, because it's about establishing through this change in altered consciousness, a relationship, a relationship between the brain and the body. And what we sometimes take to be um, common sense, that somehow it's the mind that needs to be regulated so that we can you know, uh, take the body out of survival mode back into, if you like, its state of homeostasis and balance and, you know, functionality and health. What we sometimes overlook is the role of the heart. And this information that is connected to the Heart Math Institute, uh, people like Greg Braden, and a lot of you will know exactly who I'm talking about, and of course the work of Joe himself, Joe Dispenza, then you will realise that there is a huge role in terms of heart and brain coherence, especially when we learn to, you know, meditate and alter our, our frequencies. So I truly believe that the number one way in which we become more resilient and we are able to regulate and uh, control our own health starts with uh, this relationship in whichever way you want to develop it. I used to always calm the mind down to calm the body down, but I must admit that uh, having done my own research and exploration uh, into into other other ways in which we create this link uh, that, uh, you know, that uh, puts us back into um, more of a coherent state. This is what is truly the, the answer uh, for long-term um, positive health, um, maybe even recovery. Um, you know, I work with cancer patients and I'm dealing with people who've, uh, you know, experienced extreme chemical trauma to their bodies and they just want a way back. Well, it's very it's very clear that learning to do any form of heart and brain um, coherence meditations or using the gateway experience or doing anything that allows you to slow those brain waves down and effectively change the neurochemistry in your body by doing that has to be uh, has to be very very helpful indeed because then we are we are taking ourselves out of survival mode um, and we are conditioning ourselves to be a lot more resilient a resilient to our external environment and goodness knows we're we're going through one of the most um, if you like uh, stress inducing climates of our history you know with everything that's happened with covid everything that's happened polit what's happening politically what's happening globally what's happening in terms of you know inflation cost of living it's certainly you know we're, we're going through quite a transformational and um uh, stress inducing time shall we say so we need every measure we need to take every measure that maybe isn't always just about, uh, you know, turning to uh, artificial uh, crutches like alcohol or drugs or, you know, taking uh, medications and pharmaceuticals. We have it within us to to self-regulate and heal. And by learning what you're learning, you know, I mean, you don't you don't need to follow me to do this. You just simply need to have an awareness of it, an understanding of what it means to create that much more positive relationship between your mind and your heart and the rest of your body, where all kinds of quite transformation, transformational and miraculous things can happen, where we become resilient to our environment, to our thoughts. You know, we become very good at being able to not sweat the small stuff. And if we do get knocked down, to bounce back twice as quickly. So thank you for all the comments and questions that have been coming my way with regard to mental health. 
Um, if you are interested, I would be, you know, willing to, you know, create an exercise that we can all, uh, we can all, uh, you know, take part in that will, will connect us to some of the, uh, some of the ideas that we've been, you know, that I've been discussing with you today. Um, so just, you know, let me know in the comments. And of course, if this is your first, uh, uh, you know, visit here, then uh, as always, I invite you to like and subscribe and um, introduce yourselves and uh, be great to to connect with you as a as a positive global community. You know, I'm 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 uh, I'm more than willing to engage with uh, with anybody who uh, has something uh, valuable to share. Um, so. Uh, for now, um, it's a slightly different video, but it's a video that's nevertheless related to everything we're talking about with regard to the gateway experience and every other area that's uh, attributed to altered consciousness for the uh, for the benefit of, uh, you know, us and our health, our well-being and, uh, well, hopefully our future longevity. So for now, this is David Fratti in a bit of a longer video today. Thanks for listening. Now go do something more useful. Take care. Bye-bye.